Have you ever wondered about the life of Mowgli from Jungle Book? Is it actually possible for anybody to live in jungle for such a long time? Today I'm going to tell you a story of one such Mowgli. Hello everyone. My name is Ashutosh Patki and I'm second year student of National School of Journalism Bangalore. Before I begin with my video, I would like to ask you some questions. So, are you ready for it? Here we go. Imagine that you have spent first 11 years of your life in jungle. No toys, no parents, no tantrums and no pampering. Which would have been your favorite dish? How would have been your life without phone, internet and social media? Which language you would have spoken? Mm, wait, do you really think you would have spoken a language? If you cannot give answers now, no problem. At the end of this video, you can expect your answers. It is a story of wild boy Avedon, who is also known as Victor. But is he a Mowgli? Not really. In the 18th century, a child of 11 or 12 was captured. Some years ago, he had been completely necked in corn woods in France, seeking acorns and roots to eat. The boy was named as Victor. The fact that he was away from social life for so many years gained unique attention from the world of science. Hearing about the capture, a minister of state with scientific interest, believing that this event would throw light on the science of mind, ordered that the child should be brought to Paris. Many thronged to see him. For many, it was an opportunity to cross-check the romantic theories of the famous uh, Jean Jack Rousseau. Who was Jean Jack Rousseau? He was a Genevan philosopher, writer, and composer. His Political philosophy had major impact on the progress of the Enlightenment throughout the Europe. Through his theories, he saw a possibility to reform the society through education of children. In a mind, a book written by him, he discusses about natural development of child. He believed that nature has its own way to shape the developments of human beings. Therefore, capture of Victor was an opportunity to cross-check his beliefs. After his discovery, he was given to many people to stay with. He ran away from human civilization for eight times. The French educator and psychologist Philippe Pinel declared his wildness fake. He mentioned that Victor was an incurable idiot. <laughs> Surprisingly, Pinel failed to explain how a mentally defective person could have fended himself for a such a long period of time. Eventually, Victor was given to Dr. Etard. Etard tried to teach Victor speak and read. At the end of five years, Victor could hardly identify some basic things. For example, uh, simple relations such as big, small. He did not learn to speak. Dr. Etard, Etard told that his senses were extraordinarily apathetic. In an instance, he means Victor picked up potatoes from boiling water. In a second incident, he did not respond to pistol fire near him. But when a walnut was broke behind him, he responded suddenly. Now I'm going to compare this case with developmental theories which every psychological stu psychology student must have learned. The very first is Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development. Its second stage is the pre-operational stage. Two-year children to seven-year children fall in this category. Major characteristics and developmental changes are the first one children began to, began to think symbolically and learn to use words and pictures to represent objects. Children at this age tend to be egocentric and struggle to see, uh, see things, things from perspective of others. While they are getting better with language and thinking, they still tend to think about things in very concrete terms. Considering these characteristics, we can, uh, we can come to the conclusion that the developmental changes of the pre-operational stages have not happened in Victor's case. What must be the important factor involved in the failure of Victor's learning? Let's look at the Bandura social learning theory. There are three core concepts at the heart of the uh, social learning theory which gives us our answers. The first one, people can learn through observation. Second, mental states are important to learning. Third, learning does not necessarily lead to change, uh, behavior change. So many specialists and experimenters but still fail to teach Victor. Why? Let's look at the Eric Erickson's psychosocial theory. 
the very first stage of Eric Erikson's theory is trust versus mistrust. Victor's reaction to human beings is explained by this stage. Trust versus mistrust stage occurs between birth and approximately 18 months of the age. According to the Erikson, this is the most important stage in human development. In this, in this period, child either develops trust about the world or else mistrust. It totally depends on the time of, type of attention and care he receives from its caregivers and parents. In Victor's case, his behavior toward experimenters was quite strange and I have an evidences of it. Look at the image. Also, the fact that he tried to run away from human civilization eight times highlights the mistrust within him. He was abandoned by drunken parents at very early age and this could be the main reason of generation of this mistrust. A Russian psychologist Lev Vygotsky also believed that social interaction plays a critical role in children learning. Victor, uh, Victor was away from human civilization for a long time and that could be the main reason of the failure of learning by Victor if we consider Vygotsky's idea. Victor was even called as autistic child. Autism is a serious developmental disorder that damages the ability to communicate and interact. It is a chronic disease. The wild boy Aveyron's case also had huge impact on a debatable topic, nurture versus nature. This case highlighted that for the cognitive as well as physical development of human being, the balance between both is really important. Victor case was, in Victor's case, he was physically well developed but not mentally. After reading this case, I could notice some ethical issues too. First, the fact that he died with pneumonia questions our way of handling other human beings who are not who are different than us. Why I say the let's why I say this, let's see. Pneumonia is an infection in one or both lungs. Bacteria, viruses, and fungi cause it. It includes disease such as community acquired pneumonia. Wouldn't this have happened because he was more used to lifestyle in jungle and not to the lifestyle which we live? Second, it's ethical to catch a human being who stayed away from civilization since birth and experiment, uh, experiment on him and her. Third, is it ethical to fire a pistol near him for behavioral assessment? Finally, I'm sharing the names of books and documentaries so that you can know more about him. The first one, The Wild Child Movie, which was made in 1970. Second, The Wild Boy of Averon, Averon a book by Harlan Len. And there are several documentaries and are also available in YouTube. That's it for today. Thank you so much.